Hi everybody and welcome back to another Pilates Express workout in which we're going to focus on our chest and mid-back muscles. When we have a look into our everyday lives, then we can observe that most of our movements are directed forwards. So we're cooking like this, we're reading like this, and so on. And as a result, we create a rounded upper back and our chest muscles start to overactivating and our mid-back muscles, especially the lower part of our trapezius, starts to become weaker and weaker. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna mobilize the shoulders and the spine and we're gonna strengthen the weak muscles and we're gonna open up the tight muscles. So you don't need any equipment, just a little bit of space around you and then let's get started. So find a comfortable a sitting position with your butt cheeks on your heels, bring your fingertips behind your ears, elbows nice and wide. And then with your next exhalation, you're gonna start to round your spine and your elbows are kissing under your face. Inhale, open up, your gaze is going up to the sky. And exhale, you're gonna round and pull the shoulder blades apart. So we're gonna start with mobilizing the spine and this is also a wonderful soft opener for your pectoralis, your chest muscle. Try to synchronize the movement with the breath and slowly come back to your Pilates breath in through the nose and out through pursed lips. Breathe in. And with your exhalation, start to activate your powerhouse. Draw the navel in and up. When you're ready, make the movement a little bit bigger. So you open up through the hip, come up. And exhale, bring your butt cheeks back onto your heels. Work with the Pilates principles. Work with breathing, with centering, with control. Good, inhale, open your chest. The elbows are pulling back. And exhale, round, look to your belly button. Let's go for one more. Good. And then stay open up, hold it here. And then you're gonna release the arms and we're gonna move the arms backwards. So a big rotation here as if you would swim backwards. So imagine the air is a little bit thicker, a little bit more creamy here. So the air gives you a little bit of resistance and is carrying you at the same time. So imagine you're moving through honey. Good, slowly and with control. You're gonna rotate through the thoracic spine. The thoracic spine can get a little bit stiff here when you sit a lot. So let's bring back some flexibility into our spine here. Let's open up the chest and mobilize the shoulders here. Keep breathing. Keep the hips and the legs steady and calm. Let's go for two more big circles here. Good, and then when you're done with your last circle, bring your hands onto the mat. Find your way onto all fours with your wrists under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Neutral spine position, strong core. And then you're gonna inhale, allow yourself to sink into your shoulder blades. And with your exhalation, you're gonna push yourself out of your shoulder blades. So let's get a sense of how your shoulder blades can move. So only move your shoulder blades. Keep your spine and especially your elbows steady and calm. Good, exhale, pull the shoulder blades away from each other. Inhale, allow them to move towards each other. Good, let's go for two more. Press the mat away from you, exhale, inhale. Allow yourself to collapse consciously. Good, and then stay pushed out here. Try to remember this position and then walk further away with your hands, one hand length about, and then the rest of the body is following. And we're gonna meet on the belly with a wonderful push-up. Good, so come down onto your belly, lengthen your legs. And then you're gonna lengthen your arms next to your body and you're gonna rest your forehead on the mat. Now, relax your shoulders so they fall inwards and they start to touch the floor. With your next exhale, you start to roll your shoulders back and down, lift the shoulders away from the mat 
and inhale, drop the shoulders towards the floor. Keep going like this. So exhale, find that depression in your shoulder blades, which means you pull the shoulder blades together as if you want to crack a nut with them and you pull them into the lower back. Good. Find the strength here in your lower trapezius. We want to create some balance again between the three parts of the trapezius. The upper trapezius is very tight most of the time. It's the muscle which is pulling your shoulders up towards your ears. So really make sure to keep the shoulders low. Good. Next, keep the shoulders back and down. Hold it here with the shoulders lifted. And then you're gonna lift the arms up, so away from the mat. And you're gonna float the arms to the side. Palms are facing down to the uh, ground. With your next inhalation, you start to lift the arms a little bit higher and exhale lower down keep your powerhouse active which means your pubic bone is softly pressing into the mat and the uh, abdominals want to move away from your mat so pull them in and up good inhale lift the arms a little bit higher pull the shoulder blades together if you want more for the rest of the back muscle. Then you can lift the torso a little bit higher. Inhale, exhale, lower down. Keep the legs steady and calm. Keep the back of your feet on the mat. When I'm too fast for you, slow it down. Keep going in your breathing rhythm and finding the connection to your body through the breath. Let's go for two more. Focus on pulling the arms a little bit higher, not only the torso. Good, and when you're done with the last repetition, bring your hands under your shoulders again, and then you press your way up. Bring your butt cheeks onto the heels again. And after this intense strengthening exercise, we're gonna lengthen the muscles again and bring them back some softness. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna inhale, lift the arms up over the side, cross the arms in front of you and grab the outsides of your thighs here. Then push back. So try to pull here against your arms. The arms are long and we want to create a wonderful broad and wide upper back. So shoulder blades are pulling away from each other. Allow yourself now to release the tension in your powerhouse to bring back some softness. And then you're gonna inhale, straighten back up, sweep the arms up over the side, and then you're gonna switch to the other side. So again, cross the arms in front of your upper body. Hello, Kapo. And then you're gonna find that stretch for your trapezius. Thank you, lots of kisses. <laughs> so sweet from you. Good, inhale and exhale, try to deepen the position. Very important here, keep the shoulders low. Kapo is sending you lots of love and kisses to your home. <laughs> Good, one more breath in and out. And then come back up, inhale and exhale. Interlace the fingers behind your back and stretch the arms again. Here, the last exercise in our today's session. A wonderful exercise to open up the chest again here. So keep the shoulders back and down now. The spine super long. Inhale, finding the length from the sitting bones up to the crown of the head. And exhale, try to pull the arms a little bit higher. Good, one more, inhale, exhale, find 
a wonderful opening here and then you're gonna release. Now keep the chest nice and wide as it is. Keep the shoulders low. Keep that upright, proud, strong posture. And then you're gonna inhale, lift the arms up and exhale. Thank yourself for moving your body and I thank, thank you <laughs> for moving with me. Amazing team. I'm not only offering Pilates workouts here on my channel. To keep the balance, make sure to check out my latest bar workout over here. See you there.